The question he's asking is, how do you marry up uncertainty and accountability? And almost in any size company, by the way, because I'll tell you in the startup world, when you are getting to a point where, in fact, you're running out of money, and there's an uncertainty of whether you're going to get funded or not, that uncertainty is pressure. And your accountability is even higher, because it's all about survival. Okay? In the big company, the uncertainty is, do I get the allocation? Don't I get the allocation? Is this project going to survive? Is it not going to survive? The pressure is a little different. No doubt about it. But how do they coexist? <sighs> It's a great question, and I don't think I have a clear answer that it just goes magically. But I, I will tell you what I do when I have uncertainty in any size company that I've been at. And that's, I force an answer. And if I can't get an answer, I force it myself. And it's happened. Or I leave. <laughs> There's, you know, there comes times when you decide it's time. You know, of the seven companies I've been with, or organizations I've been with, I will tell you, I've only left one because I wanted to. All the other ones, doors opened, and it was time to go. Okay, And I walked through those doors. I left one, and I'm not going to tell you which one it was. <laughs> but I will tell you, it's because the uncertainty was so big, and they just couldn't figure out what they wanted to do, that it was time to go.